So I got lucky as heck. I mean, there are houses in my neighborhood I can, I can walk to within a minute that are basically done where a roof came off or it punched out a side and then blew through and all the all the ceilings collapsed and the insulation on the top blew through the entire house and everything's soaking wet, absolute disaster zone. And somehow mine sits here and my neighbors and a couple others around me. And you find that throughout the neighborhood that some of them just took it like a boss and others just disintegrated. It's, it's incredible. So something about the direction and what was protecting me, other people's houses and trees more than likely and just the aerodynamics essentially or the fluid dynamics of my house and where the wind hit it for whatever reason I just it just survived it which is unreal so that's my fallout life uh, we have a trickle of water so we're not quite back um, now it's a race for them to get the the pump stations for the sewage up and running the lift stations because it's starting to back up people are still using their bathroom they're pouring water into the bowl and then flushing it which has been working so far but uh, if it goes on too long it'll start backing up and it's unfortunate the people lower are going to have sewage come up through their toilets and any openings right there so it's a race to get those going before you start to load up too many people back in town using what little utilities there are and uh, that's currently what we're into there's a trickle of water coming through uh, on the water pressure and it's enough to fill up bowls but that makes me feel like people are going to start using the the toilets a lot more now They're like oh great I can start using this toilet uh, a little bit more because my bowls filling up and hopefully uh, nobody ends up with a, a home full of shit <laughs> at this point which I'm laughing about but it's not funny I happen to be about as high as you get in my neighborhood so uh, if it happens I'll be the last one I'm trying to minimize any of that kind of stuff really digging cat holes and doing all that stuff is the way to go but man I got real lucky you know what I mean so uh, you send money to the survivors, man. Don't not me, obviously. I'm I'm good to go. I'll get through this no problem. But uh, if you're feeling like uh, donating, get out there and find a charity. Send some supplies. Come down yourself with a chainsaw. Whatever you can do. There are other places in this town where even today they're still digging people out as far as cutting trees away in some of the poorer areas where they didn't have anything to begin with. But we're doing pretty good here. All right, guys. I am out for my fallout life for now. We will see you later.